Hi, this is Michelle from Uniquely Michelle, and today we're going to finish up the uh, Christina Diwa by adding the wrist strap and the lanyard strap. So we'll be sewing these two straps up today. It should be quick and easy. Um, so thanks for joining me. Okay, so we have everything we need here to um, make the lanyard strap and the wrist strap for the Christine D wallet. I've added a key ring to the um, wallet and I've actually started um, a little bit with both of these straps just to make the sewing part go a little bit faster. So um, we'll go ahead and get going on this. Okay, I'm all ready to sew my wrist strap and my lanyard strap. Um, I have them in, um, partially done. So for both of them, you want to start by um, pressing the raw edges together the long, along the long edge and doing that nice center uh, crease. And then you take those raw edges and put them uh, wrong sides together toward that center crease and press that and then you press the whole thing so it's like this, that so that the those nice those ed raw edges are nicely enclosed in that center crease and that will be your strap. The next thing that I need to do that's really important is I need to put the um, clasp on right now. So if I don't I'm gonna I'll be sad so because I won't have it on there uh, later. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on. It doesn't make any difference, but I am just to make it easier. I'm going to put it kind of at the halfway through here. So it doesn't make any difference where it is on your strap. What is important now is that I'm going to go ahead and sew those the raw short edges together. And I want to make sure I do that without having a twist in this whole length. So I have right sides together here. Don't have the ends made met nicely but there we go the raw edges on these short um, ends are met and you can see the whole length all the way down to where I have the the clasp is all um, straight no twists in it so we're good to go so now I'm going to take this end and I'm going to just keep holding it together while I open up all these folds just like this and once I have them opened up, I can clip it if I want, or I can just hold it and do a quarter inch seam allowance. So um, I'm not gonna show you how to sew a quarter inch seam allowance across this short end, because I'm guessing you know how to do that. So this is about how far I am with the wrist strap. So once again, no twists in it, which is great. I already have my seam on my short ends here, and you can see there's my seam and then I pressed the seam open and then I pressed all this back together again the way it was before so it's this nice loop with a, a clasp attached so the next thing I need to do is sew top stitching basically I need to sew this side closed the open edge needs to be closed and I do that with top stitching eighth of an inch away from this edge I also do top stitching eighth of an inch away from this edge and the reason for that is um, it looks pretty and it, it um, just gives it a really nice professional finish. So um, I'm going to go ahead and come over here now to my sewing machine and just really quick do this. Um, let's see, actually I have the wrong foot on. So let me see if I can get the correct foot on here really quick. I could have used that foot, by the way. That's not the, it's not a wrong foot in that way. It's just a wrong foot in that um, I have a better foot to use. So I'm gonna move my needle over to the left all the way. And I'm going, I have my machine set for like a top stitch. I like to do the open side first. And so I'm gonna um, put this right here. And I start near the, not necessarily right on the seam, but near that seam. Back a little bit here too. And then um, I'm just gonna go ahead and stitch all the way around like this. By moving my needle to the left and having the center um, thing on this foot. Um, it is great for, um, 
giving me an eighth of an inch seam allowance. So, and keeping my stitches straight, which I really like, of course. I'm going to move this down just a touch more. There we go. Right. And so I just keep going around, going around until I get. And you can see my stitches are starting to come into view here. I'm going to go ahead and clip if I can get to them. Okay, I can get to this side. <laughs> clip that. There we go. Then, um, and so I'm going to go ahead and clip those threads, get rid of those threads, and then just finish stitching all the way around, do a nice little back forth again, and there we go. So I'm finished on this side. Clip my threads. There we go. So you can see that nice top stitching all the way around there. Um, so now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not going to videotape it because I'm sure you've seen it once. I'm sure you can see how it's going to work again to um, do the eighth of an inch stitch um, all the way around here. So I will do that and when it's done I'll, we'll come back and um, finish up this um, wrist strap. Okay so now I am done sewing um, the top stitches of my wristlet and so now I just want to get my clasp so it's in one secure spot and so what I like to do is find the the seam here and I just fold it in half and that's where I put my clasp so the clasp kind of hide, hides the seam um, I just realized I need to switch out my foot I like to use kind of this open foot so I can see what I'm doing and I want my stitching to be, or my needle to be at the center position. So, okay, so now I'm set to go. Um, I just kind of hold this in place to get it underneath here. And basically what I do is I, um, I mean, I, I know people use um, zipper foots and everything else. I generally just like using um, this foot and I just put the end of the foot, there we go, put this edge of the foot right up against where the clasp is in there. And that's where I'll start. So I'm starting my, so I'm going to make a little square right here um, of stitching. And so I'm starting that right so that my needle will go down right where that, this edge stitching is here. Um, I'm using my height compensation tool again. Um, the way I have my machine set up for top stitching, it's like right around three and a half for stitch length, and that gives me about three stitches across here. So I'm going to go ahead and take one, two, three, and that pretty much that gets me to the other side. Then what I like to do to make this extra secure is I go back one, two, three stitches, and I go forward again, one, two, three stitches. So there we go. Then I'm gonna go ahead and lift up my foot, turn it, um, looks like I could stand to do just a teeny weeny little stitch right there. Let's see if I can do it, bring this back a little. There we go, okay. I'm going to turn this and um, I just need my height compensation tool because my the back of the foot is coming is on the clasp now so I want to make sure that this is lined up well where I'm stitching up here and I'm going to do about three stitches again so one, oops, that didn't go, two, three, there we go my second stitch didn't quite get going there. And then I'm going to stop and turn it again. At this point, I want to, this is the easiest time, I think, to cut my threads. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my threads so that they're out of the way. And then I'm going to go ahead, stitch across here once again, three stitches. One, two, 
one, three, and back. One, two, three, and then forward. Again, three, perfect. And then once again, turn it. This time I don't need my height compensation tool. And just do three stitches. I'll go ahead and do a forward and back stitch there. I don't worry about doing extra stitches on the side. That's just not where it's getting the stress um, so much. And so I don't worry about that. I worry about the stitches um, on nearest to the, oops, nearest to the um, clasp and nearest to the hand part, the wrist, wristlet part. So there we go. So now we have this nice um, wristlet and I will do the same procedure to finish up with the lanyard. Um, but I'm not going to videotape that because it's the exact same thing just with the lanyard. Okay, here we are. It's uh, the Christina Do wallet is completely finished um, with both the lanyard strap and the wrist strap. Uh, thanks for joining me in the making of this. Um, it was really fun to to kind of show you some tricks and and tips along the way um, that I use as I make the Christine ID wallet. Um, make sure to subscribe to the Uniquely Michelle YouTube channel so that you can know whenever I put out any other video tutorials. Um, and also uh, make sure you, can, you join the Uniquely Michelle Facebook group. Um, it's a fun place to share the things, that, uh, the Uniquely Michelle uh, things that you've made. And um, you can follow my Uniquely Michelle Facebook page. You can follow me on Instagram. Um, anyway, all these links as well as all the links to my shops where you can uh, see all my patterns um, will be in the description for this video. So um, thanks for joining me and um, I hope you had fun.